I eat fish five times a week. At least once a week. Probably, I'd say once or twice a week. All these fish fans say they've heard the horror stories about eating fish, especially about mercury, but that they care more about the benefits. Now a new study in the Journal of the American Medical Association says they're right. The benefits of eating fish uh, are far greater than the potential risks. Dr. Dariush Mozafarian is a scientist at Harvard Medical School. He and his colleagues looked over hundreds of studies about fish and health. If you eat a fish and it has some mercury in it, you might be getting less benefit from that fish than if it didn't have mercury in it. But the overall benefit is still positive. The same goes for PCBs and dioxins, which in very large doses can cause cancer. Turns out we get much more of those in meat, dairy, and vegetables than we do in fish. That means a lot to Kelly Labs. She says she has no doubt about the benefits of eating fish. I actually have some heart disease in my family, so that's kind of why we started eating fish at a young age. But Mozafarian says some women do need to avoid fish that are high in mercury, because mercury can affect brain development in their infants. For women of childbearing age, for nursing mothers and for young children, our findings uh, agreed with the conclusions of the FDA and the advisory of the FDA. Um, that was really that there are four fish that those women should avoid, shark, swordfish, golden bass, and king mackerel. But otherwise, those women should eat about two servings of fish a week. We found that a modest intake of fish, about one or two servings per week, uh, was enough to reduce the risk of dying from a heart attack by about 35%, which is a you know, considerable effect. And there's nothing fishy about that. That's it for this edition of House Call. I'm Dr. Paul Little.